What's up everybody, this is Danny and I've been traveling like crazy lately and as you can see, I'm at the airport traveling to Hawaii to see the future of smartphone cameras. But first, I partnered with Xreal to show you their new Air 2 and Air 2 Pro AR glasses. I did a video on the Nreal Air earlier this year and yes, this is from the same company. They rebranded as Xreal, X symbolizing extra, so extra real. Let me know what you think about that. But I think these new glasses take portable wearable displays to the next level. Not sure how Xreal did it. These have improved in almost every way so let me break down these new models for you i've been using them for about two weeks so i want to help you choose the one that's best for you and i'll go over all of the new features and the real world case scenarios so you can see if you need to upgrade from your original air or not let's go That was a long flight to Hawaii, but totally worth it. And these definitely came in clutch during my 13 hour flight. But my journey started in Tokyo, Japan. I was on a family trip there and X-Rail was nice enough to send these out to me so I can start using them right away. It came in a sweet box with everything that I needed, all of the accessories and more. So I was super excited to use these on the plane on the way home. I never got to check out the X-Rail Beam, which came out not too long ago. So I'll tell you what that does a little later if you aren't familiar. I unboxed the Air 2 Pro first, but the unboxing experience is the same. It comes with the carry case with the glasses inside, and then you get some extra nose pads so you can use the one that is the most comfortable to you. And it also comes with the improved prescription lens frame attachment, and it also comes with some paperwork and a cleaning cloth. And when you take the glasses out of the case, you'll notice it has a nice soft lining in the case, which is very nice. And you also get the USB-C cable that you need to power the glasses because just like the original, this does not have a built-in battery, making it less bulky and lighter for your face, which I think is a major win when wearing these out in public. So here is what is different about the new X-Real Air 2 and Air 2 Pro. I know you saw in the unboxing, but the case is redesigned. The old one was softer and had a zip and there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever, but the new one is a hard harder shell case so that is the first notable change. The second one is the slight reduction in weight and size. The Air 2 is on the left and you can see it better here side by side. It ends up being 10% lighter. A lot of the weight is shed from the brand new smaller micro OLED panels from Sony. I believe this is the world's first at this size. And the new display keeps the 1080p resolution per each eye and the 100,000 to 1 contrast ratio. But you get 120 hertz refresh on air casting, which makes it very smooth. And it gets a bump to 500 nits, which makes it 25% brighter than the previous generation. And I know this looks like a small change, but you get a bigger speaker box with cutouts on both the top and bottom now. It was only on the bottom with the original pair. This does give the audio a more of a spatial effect. I noticed this right away when I tried them for the first time. The nose pads also seem bigger and more padded for extra comfort, which definitely translates. I found the first ones comfortable, but I can wear the new Air 2 longer before I have to take a break. The cover or light shield for the glasses also get a makeover. They look like a part of the glasses with a glossier finish, where the old ones, it was a matte finish. Make sure you carry these in your case just in case you want that deep immersion. But the x -Real Air 2 Pros take it to the next level. You can choose how much immersion you want with electrochromatic dimming. It's three stages. The first one is 0%, so you can see the real world environment clearly. The second one is a 35% effect where you can get more immersive, but you can still see everything around you. Or stage three, which is a 100% immersion, so this is just another customization level that I love. This is especially useful when using them in bright environments like Hawaii. So imagine it's like having ND filters on your AR glasses that does not affect the image quality. But remember, this is exclusive to the x -Real Air 2 Pro. If you use the x -Real Air already, then you know that the displays are super crisp. The videos or whatever that you're viewing is very sharp, but the new Air 2 looks sharper, closer to the corners to me. That extra brightness definitely helps, and I love that you can adjust the brightness right on the glasses with the rocker switch. And when editing video through these, the color looked accurate, so these look well calibrated out of the box. The adjustable rake system is carried over from the original design, which is nice, and the flexible hinges work really well, even on my giant head. So I think you'll dig the comfort of the updated design. If you don't own a pair of AR glasses already, then you might be thinking, why do I actually even need these? And that's exactly what I thought before I tried them out. First, I want to talk about just how easy they are to use. Now with the iPhone 15 series being USB-C, all you have to do is just plug in one cable and just like that, you have a super huge crisp mirror display. And this also powers the X-Real Air 2 at the same time. 
I did this on the way back from Tokyo. I was able to look back at all my photos and videos like this, and it was like I was back there reliving those moments. I thought it was just me, but I had my wife try it, and she was absolutely blown away by how large and bright the display was, and I know she wasn't expecting that at all. And don't worry, if you still have a lightning port, you can use adapters like this one to make it work, so you won't be left out. Same thing with any Android phone or tablet with USB-C, just plug it in and mirroring happens immediately. With Android, you do have some expanded functionality with the Nebula app, so you get AR space, which looks really cool. You also have a futuristic interface where all of your apps are, and you do have more choices when it comes to customization, so Android fans are going to like that. This one cable plugin works for so many devices like the Nintendo Switch, Steam Deck, and the ROG Ally. So handheld gaming is taken to another level on this combo. So if you're a gamer, you'll be blown away. I'm not a serious gamer, so I didn't notice any detectable lag on my Steam library. It might not be ideal for competitive gaming, but hey, if you're a pro gamer, you're probably gonna be on a monitor anyway. But for everyday gaming, this is incredible. And again, the best part is they are so portable, you can take them anywhere. And I've been taking these with me everywhere I travel because as a content creator i'm editing my videos in the air constantly and the seats are super close the person next to you can see exactly what you're doing so if you're working on a top secret project like this one before it was released or if you're working on an embargo document for your job then this is definitely nice for that application and with nebula for mac and coming soon for windows you can have multiple windows open at the same time and get the ultimate multitasking view and also ar space as well on the way here, I was staring at the back of a seat, so instead of using this awkward flip screen thing, I turned my environment into a portable cinema and paired Bluetooth headphones, so this was the ultimate travel combo. I was definitely not bored during this long flight. I did notice after traveling with them for a couple of weeks that the battery drain has improved using them for a couple hours at a time, so that's good news. But the x roll Beam, I think, is the way to go if you don't want to worry about it. This little iPod looking device has a 4,870 milliamp hour battery built in, so this will power your x row Air, Air 2, or Air 2 Pro. The Beam actually has its own interface, so you can watch Netflix or Prime Video directly from it, and you can also plug in or you can do wireless connection with AirPlay and Miracast. But there are two big things that the Beam brings to the experience that I wanna talk about. First is the spatial display features. You can use body anchor that keeps the display in the center no matter how you move. This is more in line with the static TV that I'm used to. But I really like smooth follow where the display follows my head tracking and it also tracks in depth as well, which is really cool. This is really great when you're in motion, like if you're in a car, I get motion sickness a lot and this definitely helped me out with that. You also get a side view where you can shrink down the window and place it in a corner so you can clearly see what is going on around you. I don't use this much, but I can see this being awesome as the feature expands in the future. You can turn off the spatial display features if you want to save some battery life, but I love how this expands the list of devices that you can use. With a HDMI to USB-C cord, I can confirm this works with all consoles that I own, including the Xbox One X and the PlayStation 5. You might not get all of the features like VRR, but that's totally understandable. But the experience is really great. You have to try it for yourself. I was surprised just how good the casual console and PC gaming experience was. You definitely have to try it for yourself just to see how good this is. In the end, should you upgrade from the original x -Real Air, and this is a hard one because the original is so good, you have to look at these new features to see if it's worth it to you. I believe the x -Real Air will get 120 hertz capabilities with the software update, which is very respectable of x -Real because they could have locked this into the next generation to make you upgrade, so this is really cool. If you have the original and don't have a beam, I say add that first because I think that will give you a very similar experience. But if you don't own a pair of AR glasses right now, then this is the time to buy. This product is a major, major win. The pricing on the original x -Real Air goes down to $339. The Air 2 are $399 and the Air 2 Pro are $449. So make sure that you check the links in the description to check current pricing because it depends on when you watch this video. You never know when they will go on sale. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, make sure you ask in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. You'll definitely see more about these as I use them more. And make sure you subscribe for more content like this and hit that thumbs up if you like the way the AR glasses are going. I'll see you guys in the next one.